Hi there. In this video, we'll take another quick look at Bridge as well as open an InDesign document and quickly navigate through it. So I have my Lesson 2 folder added to my favorites. Again, I just navigated to the folder that contains Lesson 2 and then I just dragged it into the favorites to add it to the favorites. If you wish to remove it, you can just right click and remove from favorites. Now I have this um, magazine start InDesign template. I'm going to click on that just once. I don't want to open it. And you see that we have a couple of alternative covers for this magazine or brochure. There's also, also this little uh, link symbol. What that means is in the metadata tab you can navigate to an area that has a linked file section and if you just twirl that you'll see that you have a list of all of the linked files. Notice that they're all in a folder called or most of them are in a folder called links which is right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up that file so I'm just gonna double click on it and it'll open in InDesign. Now, since I got these uh, files from another source, the, um, the relationship to the actual computer is different than here, so that's what it's asked me about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and update the modified links. And then, uh, since I'm using a PC and this file was just originally created on a Mac, there's some missing fonts. I'm not gonna bother going and getting these fonts. We'll take a look at that in more detail later on. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip. You'll see that we have a bunch of pages within this document. You can navigate through the pages with this little area here. If you click on your drop down, you can quickly jump around to particular pages. So we'll jump around and modify various sections of this document. We can also use this little pages section here and you can quickly navigate to particular pages as well by double clicking on them. So that's just a quick little look at opening an InDesign file and navigating. I'm going to quickly save this as an InDesign document as presently um, untitled because I opened it from a template. And then I'm going to open up a PDF, which is the final version that we can refer to as we work with this document. So I'm going to choose File, Save As, and I'm going to call it Magazine. I'm going to switch back to Bridge, and we also have this magazine final.pdf, so I'm just going to quickly open that. It opens up in Adobe Acrobat Pro, and you can quickly navigate through the document to see what we're going to be working towards. So I'll leave this open as we work to refer to as kind of a guide. So that's opening an InDesign file, taking a look at some of the metadata in Bridge, as well as navigating an InDesign file and then saving it from a template to an InDesign document. Thanks so much for watching.